Ladies and gentlemen, today, humanity has made incredible strides in technology, advancements, and the understanding of the universe and our place in it. We have modern medicine that could cure most common diseases. We have cell towers that could transmit messages in the blink of an eye. We even have artificial intelligence that may even surpass our knowledge in the distant future. But how did we get here? Believe it or not, the achievements of humanity were often the result of small actions. Take antibiotics, invented by Dr. Alexander Fleming. After he returned from his vacation, he noticed the mold growing in his petri dish. It was preventing bacteria from growing. He soon concluded that the bacteria was producing a self-defense chemical called penicillin, or the world's first antibiotic medicine. One of humanity's most important creations made just to survive. Imagine how antibiotics, one of medicine's best drugs, was created just from a simple vacation. Another medicine? We're talking about the vaccine. The vaccine sound saved countless lives from polio and cholera and COVID-19. It wasn't invented by a group of world-class scientists. It was invented by one person, one single doctor, Dr. Edward Jenner. He, he created the vaccine after noticing that the milkmaids who contracted cowpox never seemed to contract smallpox. He started by inoculating a boy with cowpox. Incredibly, the boy was now immune to the disease. What started as a simple observation changed vaccines, changed immunology, vaccines. They, they are humanity's greatest weapon against pandemics. So, to save millions of lives, all you gotta do is have some perception and an experiment. All of this, it reminds me of something Robert Collier, an American author, once said. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated. I like that quote. It contains the essence of how small things become big things, just like the domino and the butterfly effect. So, to change the world, you must first start small. There is no shortcut to world peace. There is no computer without its parts. There is no nation without its people. To change the world, to shape people, to break boundaries, you must first start little by little. This is a lesson, to never stop what you're doing, to keep going, to not give up. We have a long way to success, but we are surrounded by colleagues, by friends, by family, it's unlike most of the people I mentioned today. Their friends and their family didn't believe in them. They turned away from them. But we're here in an environment dedicated to supplying what we need to make a change. But this might sound big. But I'm not asking everyone to become a virus researcher or a rocket scientist, but just to try. Try to study for the upcoming tests. Try your best for a competition. Never underestimate the smallest step because we'll never know when they'll change the world. But what do you think? Have you ever achieved something so great just because of a small, minuscule event? Many people have, and I believe you can too. Thank you. My name is Thierry.